Alright guys, so we're back here. This is our Dead Island uh, Riptide playthrough. Uh, we're back in the uh, sort of the starting, I guess, little village area here. Let's, I'm gonna just go and check on the map, show you guys. I know you guys know where we are, but hey, just for anybody who's just joining us now. This is the little village. Let me see if I can, okay, there we go. That's where we started, village. We're gonna go down this road and uh, Basically, like, there's two missions that we were working on. Uh, we wanted to get the gas can for the guy that's here, I think Pierre. Uh, and we're probably, if we're going to go and do that, we probably need to go and pick it up again, uh, since we've logged out since the last time. Uh, and then we also have this mission up here to go and find two electrical cables. That's after going and doing, finding all of the batteries at this camp here. So what Misty and I are going to do... Uh, we're going to ignore the gas can mission for now. We'll come back and do that sort of probably one of the last things that we do before we like continue on with the main mission uh, so that we can get ourselves some epic weapons before we turn keep going. But uh, basically we're going to go down this side road here. You can see this little path going up. We're going to go up and sort of explore up towards this mission, but we're going to actually try and clear out some of the stuff at the top of the map here and then end up at this mission so that we can save it again. So that's our basic plan for where we're going to go uh, with this episode. So we'll start it off here. We're both in the village. Um, let's go up here and talk to this lady. Now, she's got some weapons here. I don't know if you have the same weapon list as I do. Like if you buy something, it's going to disappear from my list or not. But you know what I mean? We've got a little bit of money, you know. There's some weapons in there that could be interesting. I'm also going to sell off some of this other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna. I want to save it because I want to make stuff with it. But a lot of this stuff, eh, I'll see if I can find a better version of it to make something with because. Holy. You know, but it's white versions of weapons. I want cooler stuff. So I'm going to get rid of all of these blunt weapons. I could save the, the axe, but it doesn't look like it's uh, level 25. Okay, I'll hold on to that. Get rid of the morning star. Okay. That also gave me a little bit more money. I'm gonna buy this purple weapon that's gonna open in one more level. And sell the machete that I have, because I'm not gonna need it once I have that one. So I'll just sell that one for now. And I'll probably like try to upgrade those weapons as soon as I can. Here I'm just going to grab these nails in case we need them later. Same with the alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol is always good because you can turn it into Molotov cocktails once you find the right person. We'll do that for you. What's in here? Okay. So we're, we've like essentially emptied out so that we can collect some more materials. I'm just going to run over here as well. I think we already did. Yeah, we're all repaired up. I could upgrade. I wonder if I can upgrade this without... Let's see. Yay! Can you? I can upgrade this weapon that I just bought without having... being able to equip it yet. Okay. So it's now a level 4 machete, and it's going to do some nice damage once I've got that. I'm going to do that as well. You know? Because that'll be nice. It's like looks like it's going to do some really nice damage, so... Especially if we put a mod on it or something. And we get one that we can use. I'll just make sure that I have my weapons equipped here. So I'm going to put the... Oh right, I can't put that in. So... Or that. I've got those three in. Okay, I'm going to go and put my savage nail gun away. Even though... It's sort of like the, your infinite ammo gun as long as you recollect the bullets. Uh, that's why I want to save it. Save it till I find some more ammo for it, because I 
boss a couple of the bullets for it, and that'll just be sort of like a special weapon. Maybe I'll use it later in the game for some fun or something. So I'll put that in. Nice. Let's see here. And you're emptying out all of your modification materials too, right? Yeah, actually, like, let's do that, because, like, that's going to allow us to pick up some more stuff, too, so. Let's go down here. Okay, so you can see Henry Storage, he has 69 out of 150 items that I can store. Eventually we'll probably have to empty out some of our crafting materials, but we're going to need them for crafting anyways, so may as well have a nice stash of them for when we need them. So under our quests... Under our quests, we're sort of doing electrifying and fire sale at the same time? We're going to start with electrifying. Fire sale, we'll just leave that for now. Because we'll, basically it'll be like when we I think if we explore the rest of the map, we'll, that'll be one of the ones we do like at the end. Or whenever we find the marina. Sure. And we can drive to it in the next episode after doing that. Okay, so let's go back out. I'm going to go up the, the side here. Yay, it's raining. Perfect zombie killing weather. Whee! Nice. Yep. Gotta have a little fun, come on. Alright, so let's see what's going on over here. You know those ones up ahead sound nice. No, no. You might not want to get too close to them. Okay, let's uh, just let's just hop in the car. Oh, you're driving. Oh, yes. Boom. Only... I know what side on. the driver's seat is on. Clean up this island. <laughs> and that was the camp that we just passed. That's right. Alright. I think I've Austin uh, powered the car. Oh, watch it. Move passenger seats. Okay. No, it's all good. I Austin powered the car into the corner here. There's I no way that's going out. out. Yeah. Okay, so just to show you guys quickly here also, on the map, we're now at the bottom of that little path, and we're going to start going up to explore towards this. Although we're not going to get there right away. Always check your zombies. Make sure they're dead. Oh, 
they're just human bodies, like, you won't be able to actually kick them. You can kick just the bodies. It doesn't give me, like, an animation or, like, sound effect or anything when I do it, though. Really? Yeah. Mine moves when I kick them. Yeah. This here is called a dead zone. Uh, we've already done one of these. It was the, this area here on the map, I believe. Let me see. Oh, wait. Where's this? Okay, no, this was the dead zone. This building here, because it's next to where the guy at the gas can is. So my guess is that, like... This was the entrance to that one. This one doesn't seem to have an entrance yet, but if you look at the door here, sort of barricaded, that'll probably open up at some point and we'll be able to go in there. So this is probably content for later in the game. But we'll keep heading up to that. Oh, it's some infected. Hey, bro. I like it when they charge at you and like don't even try to use their arms. It's just like it's all mouth and face. That's right. Oh, thing. there's a big fat one down here. What did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'll be fat. Oh god. I'm not too bad. Come on. <laughs> all right. Are you just gonna shoot him? Yeah. I don't like how he's looking at me. He's gonna start like barking up snot at us in a second if we're you know. Sexy. Ah, see here's the floater. I thought there was an enemy called the floater. Yep. You know? Okay, just also, other things that you can do to take out these guys if you don't have... Yeah, see, that's what you want to watch out for. If you don't have a gun or whatever, basically, like, this is why you want to play with friends. Because he is weak in the back. You know? So, whichever one he's concentrating on just wants to sort of dodge his attacks while the other one takes care of him. And, like... If you really wanted to, you could probably run in with like a... Oh gosh. We'll just, we'll just do one of those. Yep. You know? Do you want a slaughtering homemade machete? Who would it? Slaughtering. Just use a little health there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a party. Oh. Yep. How we roll. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. Nice. Boom. Alright. We've got another awesome dude here. This guy's a thug. He's nothing to mess around with, so. There you go, buddy. <coughs> Always stand back when throwing a Molotov. That should take care of like most of his like you know. At least it wears it down. Oop, there we go. Just a flesh room. Come on. <laughs> Have at me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're a loony. Woo. <laughs> Dang it. 
<laughs> Boom. Okay, so we have the proverbial fork in the road. There's a lot of different paths we can choose here. Let's look at them. I'm gonna heal up because I'm hurting. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so since Misty and I know that this is going to basically do a checkpoint when we get there and we want to do some more with our time while we have it to do this, let's like, and plus we're close by, so what we're going to do is we're going to sort of branch out this side path here. We're going to go- Are we going to the left or? Let's go to the left and up through the water. To okay. You see that building that's sort of just sticking down? The one that has the workbench and the Santa Maria? Uh, no, above. It's just sticking down from the bottom of the blacked out area. Okay, the little dotted path. The little yeah, like we'll go up one of those sides. Or let's let's okay. go up through the water and we'll <clears> go and explore <throat> around that area. So I think what we want is let's go this. Way. Let me just check the map again and make sure on there. Yeah, this is the right path. So we will be going back that way eventually. We just want to... The thing I know about this game is that there are certain side quests that are only available to you uh, during certain portions of the mission. So like this, for instance, if we were to go and continue with the main storyline quest, we might miss a whole lot of stuff that's out here in the world, uh, such as like civilians or people that need to be rescued that will give us some cash or money or may even help us out in some way so and as well I'm sure there are trophies for like rescuing like all the survivors in the game and the only way to do that is to basically go out and physically you know make sure that you aren't missing any during any of the chapters So we're going to head up this path, I'll show you, heading up in this direction, we'll sort of go, ah, uh, sorry, up along this way and up around this area. There's some stuff that we know that's up here that we can do, as well as probably some loot. Oh, see, look, there's somebody in the distance who looks like they're still... Oh, there we go. I see this person here, they're waving. Please, someone help me! Yep, totally. Megan. Do you know? I wonder if it's like a family down there. Probably not, but it's not a family. Is she wearing like a hat or something? Do they? Nope. Okay. Do you want to go up and talk to her? Sure. Okay. I will guard us against further zombie attacks. I like that. Her children are safer. Some are safer than she is, but she's not with them. You know? Yeah. We're not. Are we. <clears throat> we're not climbing up and going across yet. If, well, if you want to. I was just going to explore. Loot the campsite? Loot the campsite here, you know? What do we have here? Oh, there's an island guide here on the floor. For sure. And that's, that's another reason that you want to be out here exploring these areas, because you may go ahead a chapter and then not be able to actually get back to get stuff like that. So that's why it's really important. Bandages, that's supplies, that will be... Well, you can use that, I think, to heal yourself if you get, like, uh, broken bones. I don't, I don't remember if that's part of this game, if you can like, actually sustain, like, injuries like that. Let's see what this is. <coughs> Ooh. That's nothing. <laughs> Sweet. It looks like it should be something, though. You know? It's all glowy and 
sparkling. Yeah. Oh, here, look. There's a... Ah, it's just a weak wrench. And we'll pour a weapon bomb. Let's see what's here. Okay. Alright, so we do you want to go up along the thing? I don't think there's really anything up there to explore, but maybe there's some loot we can grab. We can take a look, I guess. Yeah. I thought she was in a hurry to get out of here to check on her kids. You know? My niece is called Defax. She's like, oh, right. She's not being well, good. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> 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 you know? She was like, I was just saying that so you guys would leave. You know? Exactly. Ah. You want to pick up some of these Molotov? Sure. That's good. Molotov cocktails will be definitely useful. That's I sort mean. of like your grenade at this area in the game. It's gonna work. Take out a large group of enemies or do some damage to a bigger one. Okay, so there's some zombies down there? Yes. We're sort of like going over, I guess this would be like the camping area. It's not quite as like nice as like the, the areas I guess that have the bungalows back there or whatever, but... It's kind of reminiscent of the first game where you had like the hotel. And it's like this is I guess camping instead of the hotel. So anything good? Nah. Alright. So I'm gonna head down. You wanna be careful if there's zombies below you on areas like this guys. You don't want to jump, fall, or whatever, and break your legs either. But I guess Misty's a brave. <laughs> well, I didn't jump from the I top am. platform. I just jumped off the second platform. Hey. So we're gonna go clear up this little area here, zombies. I like how okay they can run in the water, but can we run? Sometimes. We can run. Shallow water. But. There we go. Apparently, we can only run sometimes. Boom. There we go. But I do, I think I remember something from the prologue where we were able to run in the water. But it's like, why is there, why is that not, you know what I mean? The same throughout the game. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, when we first started walking the water a minute ago, I was running behind you. Okay. I think it's like the deeper the water. For sure. I have. You're I, out. It gave me a skill point to spend, so I'm gonna go and look here real quick. Okay. Definitely buying second level of lock picking. Because we're gonna definitely start running into higher level lockpick boxes, and since level 3 is the highest, we may as well get there as soon as possible. Okay, so. Are you killing stuff in the water? Maybe. Let's go over this way a little. We've got a couple of guys here that are gonna rush in at some point. Oh, maybe they're not the infected. They're just regular death. Wait, what? Oh. Put the floating bodies in, I guess. Just to keep us on our toes. Are we going to get the ones over to our left, or are we going yeah, to- Yeah, I'm going to check the map here real quick and just see... Sort of where... Yeah, let's go in this little zone. See, this area isn't even marked on the map itself, so definitely something that we want to check out. There's probably going to be a mission that's going to send us here at some point, but there's probably some loot here for us too. 
I don't even know if we explored this the last time we were in the There's some fruit. Definitely, yeah, I'm like a if little you... bit low. Yeah, back there on the rock. Nice. And then the... Uh... Okay, there's vines over here. I wonder where that goes. Even, you know? Hmm. Uh, anything here? It's always interesting when they put areas with, like this into the uh, It's like, well, what do you do? I feel like there's some sort of ritual thing that's supposed to go on here. You know? Let's explore this little side path because we'll be able to come back up around this area. Like, the map makes this stuff look a lot bigger than it really is. So let's go on. Because if it's not marked, obviously something special okay. okay so it's just it's gonna connect up with a side path but we'll be able to join back up with the where we were okay. <laughs> I love when they make, or I think maybe that was you. It sort of like made like a sighing sound after we'd finished the paddle. And that's like that was enough to freak me out a little bit again as well. <laughs> if there was another one, you know. Okay. See, we're just joining up areas that we've already explored with areas that we haven't, you guys. This is the the dead zone that we originally did. Pierre's shack is over there with the gas canister. Uh, but we're just going to head around this corner here and connect up to this pathway. Ooh, I can see our friends um, in the distance. <laughs> Jogging towards That is how you take care of business, guys. And now... Okay, I'm gonna get around on this other side. Okay. Whee! There's sort of like an ideal distance that you want to maintain away from him. Uh, if he's on you spitting. You want to run in and see if you can get him. Get him to turn around and then I'll come in. You keep, keep moving around in this circle. You can see there, they're not so bad if you're strategizing with your friend. Here we go. Another skill point. It's time to get the third level of lock. So let's, yeah, let's head over there. Hold on. Yeah, in this direction we'll go off and explore where there's like a camper van it looks like. Yeah. Okay. And let me just actually also, because I've leveled up, I'm going to go and equip that machete that we built back at the base. Because this is going to do some nice damage now. Perfect for taking off body parts and... Yep. Oh. 
Oh. What? What? Oh no. Get back, get back. You can hear him whispering, oh. help me. That's a yeah. suicider up in the window there. There we go. You know? Because those guys definitely will explode. See, there's like this weapon, red, 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 white uh, name weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find some better loot. So I'm just not gonna fill up right now. I feel like even that's green, but eh. I might be full on inventory at the moment. I have to empty out some stuff. But yeah, just loot the whole island. I think there's actually um like a mod like plan thing here somewhere. I think it's in the car. Or the truck that they used to pull the camper mod. It's like the reason that we know this stuff, guys, is because we like this yeah. is stuff that we played through. It's the nuts and bolts mod. It's in the back of that okay. vehicle. There we go. Nuts and bolts is a nice mod. It basically, like certain weapons, you had. I think it's like there's the nuts and bolts, and there's the weighted. And like, there, I think nothing and Bolts is just like a lesser version of the weighted, but it's basically going to make your weapon like a little bit heavier, a little bit spikier, and stronger, so it's good for like clubs and stuff. Okay, so we've basically, we've explored this little camp zone, uh, like... The little side path that we went down on that little detour is actually right over there where I'm aiming. Uh, we went around and came back up this way. So we're going to head on actually in this direction. Always a good idea if your friend is killing a zombie to keep an eye out on their back to make sure that they don't have somebody running up on them as well. Just as a strategy, because if you're both looking down, like, and that's a mistake that I will often make because I won't be paying attention. The only reason I say that is because sometimes it is just a good idea to just watch your friend take care of the zombie and sit back and make sure that they're protected, you know? And, uh, yeah, I'll go back to Lots of zombies. Oops. Oh! <laughs> oh, gosh. I Sometimes I forget to double tap. Misty's way better than I am. I hear one somewhere. Some sort of a hatchet. Ha! Ah. <clears throat> Here we go. Hey, buddy. You think you're gonna get us, buddy? No way. Okay. Go up on the wall. I remember there being like a big yellow oh, yeah. one. He's still here. There's a big fat one. Oh, and I might be trapped. Great. Uh oh. It's okay. Oh, 
Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh. That was fun. You got <clears throat> a lock you can pick over there. Okay. It got me a wrench, which is not so bad, but it's not a like basically for both missing my char my characters like um blunt weapons aren't going to be like the most ideal thing for us because we don't get any bonuses towards it misty always seems to be able to find like that random weapon that's stuck in the side of a log somewhere or stuck in the side of a tree has a good eye for that. Let's see. I think I have, like, this is the one I got stuck in almost last time. There's nothing inside that camper, guys. Don't bother doing anything with it. You know? Yeah. You know? Okay. Just make sure that I'm not going to get something sneaking around us from this raw. And we've got this encampment up here. Swap back to my weapon. That's what I don't like. Like, even though that wrench is. Oh, really? What? Did I break it? Hold on a second, let's see. Let me just, uh. If you want to go and rescue, there's a guy. Uh, you can hear him if you just yelled at Missy that he's on the roof. If you want to go and rescue him, I'm just going sure. back to look and see um, if I like dropped my epic machete when I picked up this thing. So if that's the case, then it kind of sucks. Oh well, I guess it's not here anymore. Alright, so what can I use instead? Uh, What happened to it? I don't know. It disappeared out of my inventory and out of my hand. Like, when I went and picked up that, uh... Uh... Wrench out of the level 3 box, you know, I, like... Switched it for whatever that was, and then... You know what I mean? Like... I don't know exactly how that ended up with me losing the weapon, but... It's not in my inventory anymore. Kind of sucks. Like Wait, let there. me check my inventory. Make sure you didn't drop it. Okay. And then, you know what I mean? You yeah. know. Let's see. Maybe there's something inside. I'm gonna like sort of actually drop off some like weak mm -hmm. weapons here. You're talking about the lethal homemade machete, right? Yes. Okay. No, I don't. I only have the one. You know. Well, dang it. Ah, it's all good. Well, this it kind of sucks that you like, paid that much for it, and it's gone. Yeah. But, like, what can I do now, right? You know? Call the game and complain. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, a few days and maybe get it back, and then what? You know? It's like, dang it. At least I still have my barbecue blade. You know? For sure. 
if I was missing that, then I'd be a little bit more like, what the heck. At least you can always make a new one. Inside his camper here, there's a set of plans, uh, weighted mod. So that's one. That's like really good for blunt weapons, but you can put it on bladed weapons as well. And then we've got the island guide as well. You got the plans? I think I picked them up because I don't see them. Okay, they were leaning against the books there. Okay. Yeah. He's all good up there on the roof. He's all good. Sweet. I'm just gonna go and see if I can like if there's health or anything I can do that. Well time. you do that for two seconds. I'm gonna take a quick break and bear this. Okay. Alright guys, so we're back. Sorry about that. Uh we're going to continue on for Let's see, I'm gonna go and just do the knock thing again here. Okay, so we've sort of explored the camping area and linked it up with like some of the other areas we've explored from before. So now we're gonna sort of head along this side path, explore this area up here, and then see... I'm gonna see if we end up getting back to that wire or, if, or for the wires or if we're gonna save that for the next episode, but we're gonna head up along this side path here. <coughs> oh. Come on, you can do it. Really? It's a one way path? Oh, come on. Do it. Ninja Misty is much more ninja -y than I am. <laughs> what? And what's this? Got a crashed helicopter. So let's investigate. Let's take a look. Ooh, that doesn't that just look Yum. delightful. It's our rescue. Look. They were gonna come oh. and help us. They were gonna come and help us with helicopter mounted machine guns. See now, why can't I just like use my barbecue blade to like rip this off of the the one bolt that's still holding it on here, and just take this little puppy around, hey. kill some zombies with it, you know? So everybody's dead here. Nice. There are no zombies. It was our rescue team. I don't know, like, am I, like, really that full on inventory? I thought we, like, emptied out. Let me, like, get rid of, like, all of this white. You need, like, a big backpack where you can carry... That would be nice if you could get like an upgrade. Maybe there is a. Oh, look! Oh, okay. It's nothing important. It's just like. Maybe this is what the mission objective would be just to search under this palm leaf. But it was just an oleander, which is. low level. Or a crafting material, rather. Okay, so we're just, we're continuing on from the helicopter crash site, guys. Uh, there's, they, I really think they should have put in some, some kind of a weapon or something for you to pick up there, but that's just me, I guess. You know, oh, where is he going to come from? There he is. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, no. I don't know who these people think they are. Or who these zombies think they are. That's right. When they're sitting around thinking zombie thoughts. You know? 
Are they good zombie thoughts or bad zombie thoughts? Well, I haven't taken a survey, so. Do you know? What can I do to help? You see that supply crate over there? The military dropped a couple more of them in the jungle. I found a method to trap them. If you go look for them and bring me the food, you can take everything else. What do you say? Let's do it. Start now. Yeah. Each crate has a Perfect. <clears throat> when close to the device. When you get close, it will emit a beeping signal. Just follow it. Okay. Nice. So that leveled me up even and saved. So. You guys can see the three zones now on the map where we can pick up uh, items. Uh, for that objective, like that's where they we're going to have to look for the, the crates. Uh, if we were to do this, Misty, and we were to get what we did last time, we did like a couple of them and then we stopped. And then when we came back, we had to do them all over again. Sure. It just It just saved. So like, do we want to say like, we'll clear this area out here, you know what I mean? I don't know if that'll necessarily save for us. Oh, there's a recording on the table. There is a recording. We lost one of our group last night, Bill. He was sleeping right by the fire when he was attacked. She looked like an old woman, but she moved, she moved so fast. Well, even if we started uh, and had to pick up that recording the next time we, we could back. next time we come back. Okay, so how about we call this the end of this episode here? We've explored like a little bit more on the map. Sure. Cleared it out. We've seen like what's up here so that it's not such a mystery like what's out there aside from where you have to directly go for your missions. And in next episode, guys, what we'll do is it'll start us back in the village again. So we'll just start from there, and we'll go and we'll grab each of these supply crates, and then end up at the wire. That'll be our... or end up returning it, maybe. But something along those lines. We're going to save this mission for the next time, just because we know it's going to be a lot more exploring, kind of the same idea as we did here. So we just don't want to do, like, a two-hour episode. Uh, just to cover that. So, basically, uh, hopefully seeing some of the stuff that's out here uh, will help you guys to decide, like, if you want to come out and maybe rescue some of those citizens to get the dump bonuses for that, or to work towards getting your trophies. Um, and we'll see you guys, like, next time to do the, oh, wow. the episode for this mission so and rare. continuing on. For sure. So, you know, thank you for joining us. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, you know, anything you want to add? I think that covers it. Sweet. <laughs> All right, guys, we will catch you next time for more epic Dead Island. Bye bye.